Hi, I'm Christina from Workshop. And this is Joanne. And today uh, we're just here to show you a quick little way to customize a t-shirt. So for some of you, my, ourselves included, sometimes the fit of the women's shirts aren't exactly what you're looking for. And we're going to show you how to take one of our men's t-shirts, as shown here in the original format that Joanne is wearing, and to give it a more of a feminine kind of um, flattering cut. So we have our t-shirt. The first thing you want to do is lay it flat and you're going to cut out the neckline. And this is kind of not an exact science. So we, I suggest starting by just cutting away at the actual neckline and then trying it on again a few times to see if you like it. And if you don't like it, uh, you want it wider, you can make it wider so you don't end up ruining your t-shirt. So I'm just basically going, going to cut this. I know that I want it a bit wider. So a little trick that you can do is cut a notch here and then you're going to want to fold the shirt in half and match up the seams so that you know that you're cut. I don't know if you can see that. So both sides are going to be equal and I'm going to notch that as well. That's really smart. I wouldn't have thought to do that. Well, you know, we're quite <laughs> handy and dandy in, in the studio here. Okay, so now that we have that, we don't want to just cut both sides of the neck as uh, deep as the front. So we'll start by here and I'm just going to eyeball it. So, because you know, I'm a professional at cutting t-shirts and all that. Seems that way. Yeah, notice my hands <laughs> shaking from probably too much coffee today, but you know. <laughs> I would say don't try this at home, but that's kind of the opposite of a tutorial, so. So, we've cut the front out. And now I'm just going to basically kind of make a similar kind of angle to the back. And a nice thing about working with jersey fabrics is that they don't really fray once you cut them. And what you can do is you can kind of pull on them so it kind of rolls the edge a bit. And it will actually look a lot better once you've washed it a few times, I mean after the first washing, because it'll kind of help it roll a bit and give it that kind of, the, it's an intentional look to the shirt. A rock and roll style. Exactly, it's pretty rock and roll. Thanks Joanne for that. <laughs> and then we want to kind of create, uh, so you notice the sleeve on Joanne's, it's kind of long. We kind of want to create more of a, a cap sleeve. I enjoy the... Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, and so we're going to basically just sort of create an angled cut here. So I'm just going to eyeball it. I'm going to kind of go about there. And then I will take this piece and use it as a guide for the other side. So that way you, you have sleeves that match. And then you just trim it. And same thing, you can kind of pull the edges. I, this is sort of a rough cut, you can smooth it out as well. And if you find that the edge of the shirt when you open it has too much of a peak, you can always use your scissors here. This is a bit uneven. And just basically even it out yourself until you get the look you like. And that is pretty much all you need to do to customize the shirt. And now we will show you what the shirt looks like on after we've done our um, adjustments. And here we are with the after. Uh, as we mentioned too that once you wash it it's going to roll a bit more so it'll give a bit more of a finished unfinished edge. And you can see it's kind of created more of like a sort of feminine flowy sleeve and mm -hmm. no longer a boxy men's t-shirt for yeah. the curvy ladies. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoy that and have fun customizing your t-shirts. 